January the 18th, 2000, what, 17? Are we really in that age, that time? Is that right? Hello, everybody. How's your eardrums working? Good. Good. We got a whole bunch of fake news to get cracking, schmacking, whacking. Fake news has become a household name. And in the attempt to repair the damage done to them over the last several years. Hi, everybody. Hi, Elaine. I'm thirst. Big audience tonight. <laughs> and so we're making a transition to start covering the fake news and explaining it and pointing fingers at it. It'll be a slow grind this week, but we'll come into our own over the next week or so. It's the way it works when you're transitioning. I'm just trying to get everything working proper. Hi, Debbie. And Lane. Shanigan. That's what we got. And Brian. Nelly. Nip. Everybody's sitting on the fence in TV land and joining the stream later. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream it's a simple stream no stress no worry nothing too overwhelming just talking about what talking about Stephen Colbert with these connotations. And then his source for the story is CNN. CNN was faking, faking terrorist attacks. They were faking terrorist attacks. And yet, some reason, in order to get us crack at Trump, gets ready for one day. Day one ish, late show with Stephen Colbert. He actually doesn't make any points here about get ready. It was all about coming out and kicking at Trump before he gets. Because Hillary Clinton, with a history of mass murder, was so much better. Hillary Clinton, with an agenda for mass slaughter and enslavement, is so much better. It could have been, a, like, you could have elected a, a fucking shoehorn and people would have been just as happy as Trump, getting Trump. It was about not getting Hillary. They didn't give a fuck who, who was running. They, they just didn't want fucking Hillary. And then your sources for white nationalists, white nationalists, prick. A little late for that one, Dana. Christmas Gone Boy. Still a good song, man. Obama says he granted Manning, Bradley Manning, or Chelsea, clemency in pursuit of justice. Really? Really? Like you pursued justice in the last eight years somewhere you can point out? And nobody can point and say that Hey, you know, you were a fucking nightmare everywhere. Police officer wanted to go whack you. Remember that? <laughs> Let me be clear. He's a corporate whore. North Carolina, North Carolina teacher screams at her students. Criminal to criticize Obama. Talk about fake news. Remember fake news? We got some fake news. Real fake news. Obama there in the center waving. 
What a dick, man. Al-Qaeda vows to help re-elect President Obama. This is satire, hopefully. One person liked it anyway. Just satire. Because he's so good for misery. He's so good for agony. He's so good for any bad guy on the planet. Obama, whatever the president may be, it doesn't really matter. Obama has been exceptionally good. That's all. Snopes.com. <laughs> Snopes.com. Dana, how'd you just jump from one to Snopes? It was easy. Snopes is supposed to be the arbiter, the arbiter of news. How is that even conceivable that a site that's going to hire just any shithead like Alex up there is supposed to be someone we can put our fate into? What kind of mental illness is that? When these people are obviously deceptive. The 35,000 service members that died, they could have died from anthrax vaccination. Nobody knows for sure. It, well, when it comes to Snopes or me. But one thing we know was there was at least that many died from depleted uranium munitions. Right? In desert storms, what they're talking about. The highway of death. One of the most toxic wars in history. But it's interesting because Snopes also went freaked out about anti-vaccine advocate. No, it's not an anti-vaccine. It's somebody who questions are vaccines being used appropriately. Vaccines have a purpose, but it's been co-opted by the system. Now, we'll be covering Snopes regularly, so we're not going to waste... Our precious time per se tonight. But it is interesting to see those two stories together. See? Right? Is it not? Uh, January 11, 2000 and then January 18th. Two different stories. It seem unrelated. But when you're talking about how... S s whatever the fuck this site is. Snopes. 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 Rumor has it that it's very solid that these people are uh, scum of the earth. And these are the lowest forms of life. And we will prove that repeatedly. Once again, when you talk about people dying, you don't just burn it off and say, well, it didn't happen. They didn't die because they died. You don't explain it away by doing that. It doesn't work that way. So Snopes got to go. Drudge Report. He feeds you... Well, the first thing you're going to get is 318 cookies when you go to Drudge Report, and they're going to rape your computer sometimes for years after from just that one experience. Second, they linked over to CNN, and CNN, of course, with all the fake news... And CNN, right, ran that fake news that got us into war. So why is Drudge using, why is Drudge going to, anyway. George Bush had some, they got some fake news in this today. President Barack Obama said about George Bush Sr. and his wife, both of them in the hospital, both misery machines, both agony machines, both were voted out of the office after the first term, him and his wife. So they not only dedicated their lives to this country, this is Obama, been a constant source of friendship and support and good counsel over the years. He says in the bottom sentence, they are as fine as a couple as we know. Calling the Bushes really good people. Does anybody know what the fuck he is talking about? Does anybody know what that the, what what he's talking about? Because I sure as fuck got no concept of what that man is talking about. Obama kissed the ring. So apparently, new bomb threats against Jewish communities 
centers across U.S. raises alarms. Yeah, it'd be an alarm if there was actually a bombing. But they don't even go and find out who made all the phone calls. They don't even try to find out what, like, do you get where, what's going on here? This is Drudge this morning, but he pulled it off his site after a few hours, but he pumped it out there, and now it's got traction, yeah? Now, Drudge at the same time ran another story that's gone about soldiers or Israeli soldiers being preyed upon honey traps with Hamas using Twitter and Instagram to try to pretending they're females and trying to seduce the Israeli soldiers. This is what Israel does all the time is these honey traps. Israel owns Twitter, owns Facebook, owns YouTube in the context of being trolls, being despicable, dishonest, disingenuous fucking monsters. But the bombing that they're talking about, right? This Connecticut, New Jersey, Boston, Miami, never fucking happened. Someone phoned in. Nobody knows who it was. Everybody knows Dana's here speaking tonight about Jews. They're there monitoring me all over the fucking place right now as I'm talking. None of them are going to go bother wondering why. No one went and looked and see, investigated what happened to the bomb hoaxers who called it in. Jewish community centers around the country were again targeted with bomb threats. Like the Hamas, St. Hamas harassing Israeli soldiers in honey traps. How do you know it's not the five million Palestinian refugees, one of them doing it? How do you know this is not the loved ones or the victims, one of the five million Palestinian refugees that were overheard in some cities, so the government got together and went out and spread all these lies. And now they'll pick that guy up and says, oh, I'll go back to a Palestinian. But not mention that, see Hamas, there's 10,000. Refugees, there's 5 million that are outside the country will never get back in. Israel stole their property and homes. So we're all worried about something that didn't happen. So in the bottom three sentences, some, she said some of the threats came in as robo-dialers. The fuck is she talking about? And some are actual people. And then the FBI, like the FBI wasn't called in when the first one and the second one or the third one. So this is obviously staged. Right? This is staged. The FBI should go arrest that person immediately. Instead of sitting out there trying to monitor people like me. Oh, I think this is the world we live in now. Well, let me see. You got 5 million Palestinian refugees. So you can get the biggest welfare state on the planet. And it'd be the fourth biggest producer of weapons of misery, of agony on the planet. Oh. Lisa Fernandez contributed to this on report. That never happened. Nothing happened. But they turned it into a big story. And Drudge, the worst thing on the planet, Drudge Report, pumped it down everybody's throat. Something. Let's fix that. Now, Roger Stone... That headline is not there for some reason. Let me go back and look and see what the freak happened. I don't see it. I don't see it. it. Must be on my desktop. Hang on. I oh, stuck it over here. Not really realizing. Let's have a boot. fake news okay I got it over here let's go to the desktop 
Just like this, top damn it. Was I fucked up the whole time or something? <laughs> Who knows? That's not it. Try one more time, Dana. Better get your shit together, Dana. Okay, I'm trying, man. Okay, so you got Roger Stone in the center of your page. And you got Bradley Manning. And then you got Obama and Bradley Manning with a sex change. So let her out or him out. And then all the hormone supplements are taken. Because he, she will be still pretty fucked up for another couple of years before their body chemistry starts to straighten out, apparently. Now, Roger Stone's story is really interesting. And I suspect it's fake for quite a few reasons. If you bear with me, we're going to talk about it. Now, he's allegedly been poisoned by polonium-210. Polonium-210. Polonium-210, you can see over here. Let's find it. Polonium... Right here. So polonium-210, this is an interesting one. Let's go look at data. Polonium-210, when they talk about it in abundance, you notice in the universe, not available, sun, not available, uh, meteorites, crust, not available. But when it comes to the ocean, for some reason, they had a number. And in humans, none. And it's naturally in humans, it's naturally in the universe, it's naturally in the sun, it's naturally in meteorites, it's naturally in the Earth's crust, but it's very tiny parts per trillion or whatever. It's an insignificant amount, see? Now, it's harmless, indigenous, normal radiation. We're all acclimated. But the stuff that's made in a chain reaction is drastically different. And it's not a gamma, it's an alpha. Uh, it is a gamma, if I remember correctly. I'll get to that later. Because it, it's both. You can get both gamma and beta and alpha when it comes to polonium. But polonium... was implicated in the death of Alexander uh, Leonard of Vinko. Now, what makes this interesting is how did polonium-210 enter into the equation? Well, we'll find that in a second here. They were talking about Doctors didn't know what was wrong with him. And then somebody was reading a report. No gamma rays were detected. Small spike was noticed. And so when they seen this small spike uh, notice, by coincidence, another scientist who had worked on Britain's early atomic bomb program decades before happened to overhear a discussion. Happened to overhear a discussion about the small spike. Really? How the fuck would you hear about a spike like this? <laughs> a very... And recognizes the gamma ray single from polonium-210. This is how they identified... What now? This is the only person in history we know this to happen to. There's no proof. The proof is alleged allegations. <laughs> it's it's all allegations, right? 
it's all there's no proof see that this is even this is what happened if it was poisoned by radiation it was mostly like the injury he got and the way he died so quick it's emblematic of gamma x-ray or neutron bursts not, but how could you do that without being killed yourself? It, and you would die a few weeks later. This is what you would expect to happen to the homeless and the immigrants that go into Fukushima, right? They're wearing the suits, but that don't protect you from the gamma shine, the betas and the alphas. And so he, he died well, relatively quick. He lost all of his hair. But Roger Stone is okay. He didn't die. Roger Stone's fine, per se. He's back to business. He's back blogging. He never wilted and died like this guy. So where, well, Roger Stone al allegations that he was poisoned polonium-210 when there's thousands of radioactive isotopes that he should be worried about, right? He should be worried about, let me see, well... Because you got, you know, you should be worried about heavy doses americium or curium, and because it's the biggest byproduct of the fuel rods, it's the most abundant and out there, and it, and it kills animals. And we know from the studies, um, we know from studies on animals, uh, just a tiny fraction inhaled. 144 dogs, they all died. But we, we know how this stuff works. It takes several years, right, to, to come get you. It's, it's much more toxic than polonium. Is my camera screwing up? My camera. Fucking hate my camera, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a goddamn nightmare. But I got all the other equipment. Which is really good, right? We got all the equipment we we tried to get. All we got left to get is a camera down the road. We're not doing that tonight, but what was it I wanted to share with you? I just wanted to get that freaking camera. I don't know why it's doing that. There you go. Clean up a bit that time. The camera is just like everything else. So much money all the time to do everything. We ordered a, and I got no idea what I got done here. Yeah, there you go. We ordered in a microphone, wireless microphone, uh, the back piece and everything. It was $245. I paid for it. I don't got the money to do that, but I done it. Oops. <laughs> So I won't be here for 10 days, but we got to raise that much money. And you can donate at my site, thenuclearproctologist.org. .org, Dana Dernford. And you can find me at PayPal. I don't think the links are under this video. I have to remember and stick it in there after. And I got to pay another $100 for uh, this thing yet. And so we're controlling all of our lights, our Bluetooth. And that's got other uses. Look how fucking bad that camera, man. Just torture, right? And that's okay. We'll get through it in the future. <laughs> what was the point I want to make? So I got to raise $350 to cover that stuff. The wireless mic... It's so I can use the blue screen, the green screen, to do these skits that I'm going to be doing. And right now to do the skits, I'm kind of stuck in one spot with the microphone, right? Because otherwise, it don't sound. If I move around, I'm talking. It doesn't work. And so I need to keep the microphone pinned here. And so it will always have this rich, deep sound to it right but i got sound boards and everything but you can't sound make everything sound the one level so i ordered it in and uh, it's paid for it'll be here hopefully five days but at the best around 10 days really excited just the camera is the last really big piece 
4000K camera and then the lenses and then this spring you know, we get the documentary out before the anniversary of Fukushima coming up other stuff like that it's a long hard process when you do everything yourself and you have to do it because somebody has to come out and tell the truth there's so much fake fakery going on and people are limited to narratives and that's extremely it's extremely dangerous right not near Baghdad don't believe them they are nowhere not this near, is- so that's George Bush's leg, legacy they went in and they pummeled that country yeah I get some sound working here I screwed up and so tonight wasn't a real show. I know that. I get that. I understand that. It's uh, cause it's been a tough, tough haul getting up to this stage. And I won't stop. See, I don't know how to stop in that context. So we put out a little show tonight, fine and dandy. But uh, don't think that's is what my shows are about. My shows are much more... And it'll be really good entertainment, especially with all the skits. And we'll be busy trying to get back to normal tomorrow and the next day. I had to go to probation officer yesterday. That threw me off. Uh, I'm still off a little bit. Plus, I gave up smoking last Thursday. And I haven't cheated or had a cigarette since, right? And so my nerves have been pretty shot. Uh, but I've reorganized everything here. And I'm sleeping like three times a day rather than go outdoors and pass out for an hour or two. So I don't go out and go to the shop and end up with... Now, the cigarettes I was smoking was natural tobacco without the 7,000 chemicals. Um, but I'm so freaked up in the mornings. I know I got to quit like anybody else. I'm not stupid, but... So I guess I'm finished because that's six days right tomorrow afternoon will be seven days and i don't feel like smoking i'm thrilled right there's urge dear kind of a little bit but it's irrelevant compared to the first three or four (laughs) days i almost lost my mind so i'm organizing myself so i don't waste time i'm more efficient and smoking was definitely keeping me inefficient Nothing wrong with it. If you smoke, I understand that 7,000 chemicals will do that to you, right? So cigarettes are not bad because of polonium-210 that are in cigarettes. They're bad because of the 7,000 chemicals. Your body is acclimated to natural polonium-210 that Roger Stone is alluding to by genetic superior selection. But the stuff that comes from a chain reaction, no matter what that isotope is, is danger, 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 right? So if you look at the natural. And so he didn't he didn't bother choosing any of these isotopes because they have signatures and we would find them. He went for the polonium um, 210 isotopes. Because he knows that one is natural. And they, and if they look, they will find some of it, right? But if you went for looking for the 211 or the 212, they wouldn't have found it. And if they found it, they would have to go investigate to try to find out. But with 210, you can't investigate because it's natural. And so it was a deception, right? Stone, Roger Stone is a hatchet man, period. Right? He's a well-known... Hatchet man, period. He's a political hack. Same as Alex Jones is a political hack. David Knight's a political hack. Remember what David Knight, like he he was on the pedestal when we done symposiums in Texas about Fukushima Melter Reactor. And so he was and that other guy they heard my narrative, yet they don't repeat it, even a couple of years later. Now, these are political hacks to be worried about. 
If you're going to affiliate, affiliate yourself with these organizations, you're going to tell the truth sometimes, but mostly it's a political ideology. And we got more coming up tomorrow. We'll do it again. It'll get a bit better over the next week or so. We'll be kicking ass, boating down the invisible doors, and educating people on that deception. Looking forward to close out. Once again, we don't stop. We don't know how to. We are active participants. We are here to push back. Hugs for everybody. Lawrence, Amthurs, Ellie, oomp. And I quit and he says, Shani Gunn, Eileen is our moderator. Amthurst, Nep Killer. Hi, everybody. Hugs for everybody. Goldwing, Honda, Broken Star. Yeah, video's cutting out. You might be trying to stream in too high quality. I'll check the stream after and see if it showed up. For Pilla. And that's a big thing with streams. If you try to stream in very high quality, it's you might get choppy on your end sometimes. But it could be me. I'm not saying it's not. Toxic, but you always check your stream first. Robo, Rotobo one. Hi, everybody. BD, John. And hi, everybody. Just making sure I say, Ellie, good night to everybody. And that's what we do. We come in, we send out well wishes, we send out our hugs, and we send out genuine concerns for this planet and for all the species on the planet. We are forever in debt to you. You were here long before us. It is our job. We are the stewards, and we have to act like it. And we are the beginning. Hugs for everybody. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.